Hey guys, what's going on? Ben here. So I have a little mail day and then just gonna kind of talk through a couple things um, in the hobby. I know Fanatics Fest is going on right now. Um, I'm not going to that, but I just wanted to show you guys a quick mail day. Pretty random stuff, um, but long story short, I had 1,900 Panini points that I have been sitting in my account for almost a year. Haven't used them, haven't been able to really use them for anything I've wanted. So the latest drop that I saw, I just wanted to get rid of them, use them, and then I'll most likely sell these cards. Um, I might keep the one, but I'll show you guys. So here's the one card. Um, this is a Jets Jermaine Johnson rookie um, out of 149 rookie auto. This one, uh, only 400 points, but it is a Jet and he was a pro bowler last year. So I may keep this one uh, and see what I'll do with it, but just may just keep it for the PC. This is a random card that I am going to sell, um, it, but it's Road Dog. It's a WWE card. Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, it is a gold flash, so it's out of five, one of five. So that was the other card I got. Um, and like I said, just random card just to use my points. And then another card here I just got from eBay. Um, and it came in this beautiful authenticity guarantee. And it is one of the holy grails of the WNBA, Diana Taurasi rookie. Um, and it's, yeah, I went through the authentic authentication process. Uh, looking at the card, it is going to go off to grading because it's one of those cards that is worth grading no matter what. Looking over the card, I would estimate it's a 7. Um, just the, the back actually looks really clean. There's nothing terribly wrong, but you do have some, you can kind of see the, the white on the corners. Um, almost all four of the corners have a little whitening. So I would say a 7, an 8 would be amazing, but I, I would say a 7 is where I would look at that card. Uh, as a grade. So that's the mail day. And I just want to talk through Fanatics Fest uh, quick. I've seen some videos. I'm sure you guys have seen some videos. We're going to see more and more videos throughout the week, um, weeks after this, just like the national uh, influencers are going to be pumping it up. Um, it's cool. It's definitely cool. It's not, it doesn't feel like a just a card thing. And I know that's what it's for. It feels like a, a neat event where I could take my daughter to or something like that. Um, but I, so I think it's, it's in the sense, it's a different thing from the national and it's not going to replace the national. Like some people may think it will someday. Um, uh, I don't, I don't think that's where it's at right now. Um, but it looks pretty cool. I mean, they have so many interactive things from games, celebrities to, um, the card tables to, you know, signings to all, all that fun stuff. Uh, they got the, all the fanatic branded things as well, like all the jerseys. So it's a, it looks cool. It um, looks like a cool event. I would definitely be interested to go at some point. But, you know, to do it in New York City, it's, it's as expensive as some people thought maybe Cleveland was as far as travel and flights and hotel and Airbnb or whatever. New York City is going to be times five that. So um, having it there and doing it there, it, it's almost excluding most people <laughs> um, because you have to have a lot of money to be able to go to this show it's just it's new york city it's just it is what it is so let me guys let me know are you guys going are you guys kind of feeling the same way where it seems cool but there's no way i'm going to that right now um but yeah let me know quick video today but like subscribe and i will see you guys on the next one